Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our MG budget upgrades. This one I had a little trouble with the title. I ended up going with strategy counters. I'm not exactly sure what to call this. I would say just tactic counters, but even counters, because we think plus one plus one counters and things like that, is very confusing. It's a confusing term to use in magic. Also, counter spells. This is not counter spells. This is not counters like putting counters on creatures. This is counters like countering their tactics. Yeah. <sighs> so confusing some things. Anyway. Please hit like and subscribe. It makes a big difference. It really does. Every subscriber really does matter right now. That's for sure. And if you want to find us on Facebook, it's MTG Nerd in Korea. So what is budget? This is once again two dollars and under. Kind of the channel norm is two dollars and under, and that's what we're doing here. This was also uh, put together with help from the budget magic group on Facebook. So that thank you for that. Number five, Carter, uh, Carter, Carter, Car. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm saying Carter. It's like Carter. Doom Scourge, two black red, for a four three. When he enters the bat, uh, battlefield until your next turn, creatures your opponent's control attack each combat if able, and attack a player other than you if able. Whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Very very useful, right? Especially if you can flicker him, it's amazing. But what when it is really useful? is if you're playing against decks where they have a lot of like tap abilities pretty much they can't use them anymore they can use them they can activate them before their combat as soon as it's like their combat's over everything should be tapped down right there's really hexproof won't help against that or anything shroud won't help because this isn't a targeted effect this is just all of the other creatures right so yeah any kind of uh, if anyone's doing any shenanigans like using abilities and stuff during your turn, Carter is just going to shut that down. Um, it also forces everyone to be tapped out, right? So they can't use blockers. So any kind of like blocking shenanigans is out and just all kinds of things really gets dealt with with this ability. And, uh, you know, forcing everyone to attack everyone else and not you is great too. Anyway, 29 cents. Number four, Dalkin Humiliator, three and a blue for this three, four. I love this. This is in my Sahili the Gifted deck. Uh, Metal Craft, so whenever he attacks, if you control three or more artifacts, not hard to do, right? Three or more artifacts, that's not asking a lot. Even a mana rock and an equipment and treasure token. Sure, done, right? Anyway, okay, creatures your opponent's control lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 1-1 one, one until end of turn. So there's like, if you've got like a whole bunch of death touch and things like that on the other other players using like all kinds of abilities and stuff to mess with the combat, you can really just shut that down and make even just if they've got very high toughness things, doesn't matter, they're going to be 1-1s, one, right? High attack, high toughness. Uh, lots of like trample, death touch, whatever it may be, or even like reach and things like that, just get eliminated by him attacking, right? So if you've got a bunch of flyers and Vidalcan Humiliator, they all lose flying, they all lose reach, you just get through every time. It's a, po very possibly a win con, frankly, but anyway, 15 cents only. Number three. Bonds of Mortality. Okay, one or green for this enchantment. And when it enters, draw a card. Okay, not bad. And for one green creatures, your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Like, hexproof, indestructible, probably the two of the biggest headaches you're going to deal with. Also, you can do this anytime. You can turn off everyone's indestructibility and hexproof. Uh, you can use this politically, like, hey, attack them and I'll get rid of all of their, you know, all of their uh, indestructible and all of that. 
so you can get in no problem you can do a bunch of extra like damage and things like that you can take their creatures out um no worries just a nice kind of teamwork card to use as well so nice political anyway um 21 cents number two wave of vitriol i've green green i think i've actually featured this one before i believe i feel like i'm forgetting something uh so each player uh, sorry a sorcery for seven right each player sacrifices all artifacts enchantments and non-basic lands he or she controls for each land sacrificed this way is controlling me search his or her library and put a basic land card down onto the battlefield tapped then each player who searched the library this way shuffles it. Okay, first of all, this is going to give him a lot of land. So that might not be a good idea. You want this probably as like a finisher type of thing. So if someone's got a lot of like enchantments that they're using to protect themselves, if they've got a lot of artifacts they're using, you can just get rid of all of them. Um, and yeah, even it says artifacts and enchantments so if they're artifact creatures enchantment creatures they still get sacrificed right so you can really hit some decks very hard if it's like i've got a sahili deck if someone cast this on um, against my sahili deck my whole board is gone right i'm getting a whole bunch of land but can i even make use of that much mana it's uh also do you have enough basic land to like replace everything I can have like 10 artifacts on the battlefield, plus all the lands I've already got, plus my non-basic land. So I'm sacrificing non-basic lands, also sacrifice instead, right? It's sacrifice, not destroy. So yeah, everything is just going out and then I've got to replace it all with basic lands. How many basic lands do I have in that deck? I'm not even sure. I don't think enough to make it, like if someone cast this, it would actually help me out the next turn I don't think so anyway this is yeah also recommended by Ben from Ben buys beverages I talked about this channel before I'll put a link in the description it's a lot of fun check it out um, yeah they've got readings of like Lovecraft and all kinds of stuff on there so it's a good one 102 only number one okay invert the skies the one green or blue use both and we're going to see why creatures your opponent's control lose flying until end of turn if green was used to play invert the skies and creatures you control gain flying until end of turn if blue was used to play it do both if green and blue was were used okay so those like flying evasion decks that can be a big pain in the butt you're going to take away all of their flying and give all of your stuff flying so suddenly you've like turned the tables on those flying evasion decks again flying is the most common form of evasion so yeah you're gonna make it just like all of a sudden oh now you don't have evasion but i do and you're just gonna like knock them out right there so this is very much like a finisher win con kind of card and for only four mana is pretty cheap for what it does anyway 25 cents a list okay Carter, uh, Carter, Moon Scourge, 29 cents, the Dalkin Humiliator, 15 cents, Once Mortality, 21 cents, Wave of Vitriol, 102, and Invert Skies, only 25 cents? Almost uh, all under a dollar, so close. Anyway, take it easy.